Well hello everybody welcome to Horror in Detail. First Story This story was shared by you slash Pocahontasne, so credits to him. My Uncle's Creepy Truck Driving Story This is my uncle's story, I'm sorry if it's poorly written I've wrote it down while he was telling it to me in real time. My name is Rick and I am a retired truck driver. This happened when I was like 30 years old. I am now 62. On the road I seen many strange things. I've told this story over and over. A lot of people don't believe me. But it starts off in Stockton, California where I picked up a load of pipe. My destination was Salt Lake City, Utah. I was supposed to refuel in Barstow, California at a truck stop. But lo and behold they were out of fuel. So I told my supervisor hey I got like half a tank of fuel. He told me to continue and hit the first truck stop I seen. So 100 miles into Nevada nothing but desert. Seen nothing but a sparsely lit desert with a couple towns. When I noticed my gauge set was reading empty. And I'm thinking that's not right. So I took the first exit I saw and pulled over. Told my supervisor who was right behind me an hour away that I was afraid to continue on and run the tanks dry. So he told me to sit still and he would be by in an hour and we could siphon some of the fuel from his tanks into mine. So I sat there and I noticed that it was a small town with sparse lighting. As I sat there I couldn't run the engine so I couldn't listen to the radio so I sat there in silence. I don't do drugs and I didn't make this up so listen carefully. As I'm sitting there I notice a lot of undone construction a trailer park to my right completely dark and a church off to my left about a block away with its lights on. It's about 2 a.m. And I see this jack rabbit hopping around my truck. It hops around and just stares at me and keeps hopping around. So I'm getting hungry and I notice what looks to be a convenience store another block away from the church. So I get off the truck and decide to walk to the store. While I'm walking I keep hearing this dog howling like it's in pain. As I'm passing the church the two doors are wide open and I hear clapping like they're having services. As I pass the church I look inside and there's no one except for this skinny white old man reading from the Bible and talking about hell. I don't linger too long and pass the church. Then I heard clapping again. About then the dog starts howling again. I notice there's a bunch of empty houses on this street that goes uphill. I still am making my way towards what I think is a little mini mart. All the time the dog keeps howling. All the lights are on. As I go inside this little old lady with glasses is reading a book. There's hardly anything in this store. Maybe a few cans of food couple bags of chips only water in the refrigerators. The whole time the lady didn't even pick her head up from the book. So I grab a water grab chips I'm hungry as hell and there's nothing to eat. So I ask the old lady is this all you have and where's everybody at? She told me everybody moved out and new construction was supposed to begin like six months ago. And she didn't say anything after that so I paid her and walked out and started walking back towards the truck. The whole time the dog is still howling. So as I got closer towards the church I looked up the street towards where I heard the howling from. I decided to go see for myself why the dog was howling. House on both sides of the street are boarded up and dark. I saw a house with the lights on. With about a five foot fence. When I looked over the fence I was in shock. What I saw was a man in his underwear with a chain attached to his neck on all fours. Howling. The hairs on my arms and neck stood up as I saw this other man burst through the back door and kick the man on all fours and was yelling at him to shut up. He ran into a doghouse. I was in shock and turned and ran back down the hill to my truck. 
As I passed the church, both doors still wide open, but there was no lights on anymore, and still I can hear the clapping. Finally made it to my truck called my supervisor and told him what I saw. Told him hurry and get here so I can leave. My supervisor asked what exit were you talking about and I told him and he said oh I passed that. He had to turn around and come back to get me. So I'm sitting there and the rabbit is still hopping around my truck. It stopped and looked up at me as I'm sitting in my truck. I'm not saying the rabbit said it but this is what I heard leave. I rolled up the window and waited for my supervisor who showed up five minutes after. I told my supervisor what happened and he just laughed at me and told me I'm gonna have to drug test you. I did not sleep on that whole trip to Utah until I got to Salt Lake City. Believe it or not I swear this is what happened. Second story. This story was shared by Jim Bob Paul, so credits to him. A good friend of mine told me this story years ago. He is of the stereotypical old big bad trucker. I've seen some weird stuff with him while driving in South Texas along the border. He never batted an eye, but while telling me this story he had goosebumps and a concerned expression. Which from this guy is about the equivalent of a trembling lip and shit-stained pants. I'll tell this story in the first person as he told it to me. Years ago in the late 90s I was on my way from the house, central Texas, heading to Laredo to pick up a load. It was early morning, around 4 or 5. I had just come off a string of days at home, so I know I wasn't tired. I am on one of those two lane winding roads in the absolute middle of bumfuck nowhere, when I see something on the side of the road at the edge of my high beams. At first I just thought it was roadkill, as is usually the case. As I get closer, I see that it is roadkill and there's someone crouching over the deer carcass. I remember thinking either this guy's taking the antlers as a trophy, or he's fucking sick. As I got closer still I can now see that's this guy's eating the fucking deer. He's pulling chunks of meat from the stomach and bringing them up to his face. At this point he stops mid-motion and looks up at me. Not at my truck, but at me. He slash it stands up and that's when I see that it's fucking huge, brown, and covered in hair. I remember thinking at this point, oh damn. This thing is standing on the tiny shoulder looking at me. By this point, maybe three seconds have passed and I'm about to the point in the road he's standing at. I didn't even think of stopping, in fact I'm starting to lay on it and get the hell out of there. As I'm passing it, it's looking at me, again not at the truck, it's looking through the driver's side windshield at me. He obviously has the intelligence to know that there's a driver in here and knows where I'm sitting. As I start to pass him I can still see its head above the hood of an old needle nose peat, old truck design where the hood goes straight out from the windshield known for being tall and difficult to see around. This thing is a giant. I remember seeing what looked like human intelligence in its eyes. It scares the shit out of me. Sorry for the wall of text. It's a story worth sharing though. I think it was a Bigfoot eating a deer on the road. Third story. This story was shared by the gargoyle, so credits to him. Okay, so here is a spook for you, and to this day, I still have no idea WTF. So I was in the VA slash MD area, and had a lot of work-related sites ranging from downtown Baltimore to Virginia Beach and all around. Friday wrapped up, and I hit the road to some social arrangements I had made for the weekend. Spent the weekend with friends out in various parts of VA got dragged off to other places even further out, the usual weekend fun times. It's late Sunday night when I have to leave, or I'm not going to be able to get home in time to start my, thankfully late afternoon, Monday. I'm fully rested, I didn't do any drinking, I'm not into drugs. 
on the highway at about 3 a.m., in the middle of bumfuck nowhere between Roanoke and D.C., absolutely nobody around. I'm cruising along in the left lane simply because nobody else is around. No headlights for the past hour, no tail lights either. No road lamps either. It's dark, it's mildly damp, it's foggy. I have the music up, I'm feeling good, all is fine. And then I just happen to look to the left and there's a dog barking at me. A German Shepherd, in a car passenger seat, somewhat blue glow from the instruments inside the car, and it's got its face to its window and it's barking its head off at me. I get a good hard look at it, too, because at first my brain is not registering cop car, dummy. I'm doing 90 plus in a 75, I promptly have the oh shit, moment when the dog, the instruments, the white crown vic slash light bar all click in my brain after a second hard look. I put my foot on the brakes and start slowing down hard but safe, to pull over. I even put my blinker on to start shifting lanes over to the right to pull over because. Wait. There is no shoulder on the left side of this road. I look back to my left, where there is still no shoulder slash room for another car, and it's just gone. No trace. I slammed my brakes and stopped in the middle of the highway, flipped on all my light bars and even looked around with my handheld spot. There was nothing. No tail lights, no headlights, no engine sounds, nothing. There are no other tire marks in the damp but mine, and I can see for a nice long distance both ways, too. Nothing. My vehicle had great visibility, and a lot of extra lighting, off-road SUV with the trimmings, there is no possible way somebody pulled a sneaky, let alone drove that fast on wet sloped grass and rocks on my left side. So. Yep, there you have it. Ghost Cop and his dog didn't like me speeding, apparently. Thanks a lot for watching the video till the end, subscribe to our channel Horror in Detail. Drop your opinions slash suggestions in the comment section, and like the video as it helps with the YouTube algorithm.